You unlock this door. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You've just crossed over into... Common Sense Zone. In the midst of some hard economic data last night, including a huge drop in the fourth quarter GDP to the lowest level since 1982, Ben Bernanke gave a speech in which he said there is a quote-unquote reasonable prospect the U.S. economy could be in recovery in 2010, joined now by Nouriel Rabini of NYU. And Nouriel, what odds would you put on that outcome? Oh, very little odds. Uh, in my view, the recession is going to continue all the way through this year. And even if we had positive growth uh, next year, maybe 1% or below, we're going to technically still be in a recession because the unemployment rate is going to peak around 10% sometime late next year. And when the NBR decides whether the recession is over, they don't look at two consecutive quarters of GDP growth. They look at other indicators of production, employment, and so on, sales. And based on those indicators, actually, the end of the recession is not going to be Q4 of this year when you're going to have positive growth in Q1 of next year, but sometime next year. This could be more like a 36 months recession rather than a 24 months recession. And when we first started talking to you about a year ago, you were obviously way out ahead of everybody else, and you were then, I think, as I recall, looking for about an 18-month recession, which then would have been long. Mm -hmm. Now it's 36. I mean, do, do all of your assessments of the future continue to get worse and get more elongated in time, or, or do you feel like you finally have you've, you've got as bad as it's going to get? No, unfortunately, yeah, I was one of the most bearish people about the economy, but the economy has also surprised even the bears on the downside. Right now, I think of it as being at least 24 months. Started December 2007. It's not going to be over before December of this year, and it might be actually technically over sometime next year. It might be more like 30 or 36 months. And the most important part of it was the last year the debate was between those who were bullish were saying this is going to be a short and shallow recession, V-shaped eight months long like the previous two in 1990 and 2001. And I said, no, it's going to be U-shaped longer and protracted. Right now, the V is out of the window. We're already in the 16th month of the present recession, so we are in a U. And my worry is that there's actually a rising risk that the U is going to turn into L-shaped Japanese style stagnation or near depression and stuck deflation, like the one that Japan suffered after the bursting of its real estate and equity bubble. If we don't do the right things, given what's happening right now in the world, it's scary. U.S. minus 6% negative growth in Q4, Eurozone minus 6, Germany is minus 8, Japan is minus 12, Singapore is minus 16, Korea is minus 20. In the rest of the world, things are even worse than the United States. Q1 of this year looks like worse than Q4 of last year. There is no sign that in the U.S., in Europe, in Japan, in emerging market, that the rate of contraction of economic activity is slowing down. They often say the second derivative is going to become positive, meaning the economy is still contracting, but a slower rate, while the second derivative right now for economic indicator is negative across the world. Things are getting worse. They're not getting any better. Well, there is a risk of an L. With that, having, having said that, Ben Bernanke, you did put the caveat out there that, A, we've got to get the financial recovery and the rescue package right. We're going to talk about that in more detail. But what about this idea that there is so much fiscal stimulus, the bailouts, everything, you know, already in train, as economists like to say, and that it maybe will start to catch later this year and the economy could recover. What's your response to that argument? In my view, the fiscal stimulus this year is going to make a little bit of a difference in Q2 and Q3, but it's going to fizzle out by Q4, mostly because out of the $800 billion, only 200 are this year. Most of it is backloaded. That was a mistake. And of the 200, half of it is a tax cut. And last year, the $100 billion tax cut was spent only 30 cents on the dollar. The rest was saved. So out of that $200 billion, most of this is going to be actually tax cuts. It's not going to make any difference. So there will be a little bit of an effect, but it's not going to tip the economy into a recovery, first of all. Monetary policy, Fed funds rate is zero, right. quantitative easing, but high yield spreads relative to U.S. Treasury are still 2,000 basis points above Treasuries. There is still a massive credit crunch that has not been resolved. Shit's get way too complicated for me. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message.